to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Here comes the... Okay, there have been at least three videos where I film you and you're eating out of a pan. <laughs> what better bowl than the bowl you made it <laughs> Eva? Let's fix him. What do you mean we're having people over? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Eva Grace, your hair. to today's video so by the title and the thumbnail you can tell and by my voice I am not feeling well um, before <clears throat> before we get into this video I will say that I took a test it is not the you know what um, so just want to get that out of the way so nobody worries I don't feel good I've been um, dealing with something I think it's I think it's like a cold or maybe maybe the flu it's not that bad since friday um my throat got a little sore and then over the weekend i think it's just allergies or i thought it was just allergies and then it turned into some kind of like a lot of buildup and congestion which i guess it could be really really bad allergies um because there's a just a lot of congestion that's the main thing it's just like really bad congestion 
Um, it it kind of put a dampener on the first week of my prep. Last week I updated everybody and I was starting a cutting process and I might wipe my nose here and there so I'm not dripping on camera. Things were going really well and then Friday I started feeling bad so I took it off from the gym just to be sure and kind of what I'm going to talk about in this video is why it's so important to listen to your body. So I took Friday off, runny nose, stuffiness was through the weekend, that's about all I felt uh, but I took the weekend off too just to be sure and then I woke up Sunday and uh, I had not slept well because I had a lot of congestion. Of course I didn't go to the gym Monday, not going today, see how I feel tomorrow, rest. Just lots and lots of rest. And it's, it's frustrating because it's like, man, the first week I was starting to gain momentum, I was feeling so good, and then bam, <laughs> I uh, didn't feel good. So just been resting a lot, obviously not working out, not getting my cardio done, but what I have been focusing on are uh, my calories, hitting my macros still, the goals that I had mentioned in the last video, and then making sure I'm getting enough water, taking my supplements, trying to stay on top of just feeling good, making sure it doesn't get worse, and then just staying home. I struggle with doing too much from time to time, and I think part of what this might be is because I've been pushing, I've been pushing my body really hard, and I can't remember the last full rest week that I've taken from the gym. And this is this is a precautionary tale because all of my clients that I work with, I program in rest weeks depending on their intensity, their goals, um, their experience level, anywhere from six to eight weeks or so, I recommend like a rest and deload week within that time frame. And I can't remember the last time I've taken days off, of course, I take at least one or two rest days a week, but a full dedicated rest week, I don't remember the last time I did that. And so I think what possibly happened is that my body was saying it's time, and if you go too hard for too long, your immune system can be compromised. And I think that maybe like a cold snuck in or something, and that leaves me where I'm at now. And I didn't take the rest that I needed, and so my body is forcing me to take it now, which is fine. My body needs it. Like I said, just focusing on hydration, eating enough, getting a lot of good nutrition in, and rest. Eva's next door with Matt's parents right now, and um, she's she's been watching a lot of a lot of YouTube and a lot of TV lately, just because I'm, I'm like tired. But that's kind of where I'm at this week. In terms of the cut and how things are going this week, obviously I'm not going to change anything because. The full week was not executed, like the full program. Um, I didn't get all my cardio in, I didn't get all my workouts in, so there's no sense in changing things because I was not consistent. Whatever the reason is, I was not consistent. So I'm not gonna change anything, I'm gonna keep my macros where they're at, I'm gonna keep my cardio where it's at. Whenever I can get back to the gym or back to working out, I might start you know, working out at home, but playing it by year. So my encouragement with this video is that this happens. You know, we have a plan set in motion and we have like all of these good days and you're feeling so great and you're motivated and you're moving along and then bam, something happens and you can't get to the gym or it throws you off track. Progress is stalled for whatever reason. My focus is to control what I can control. Nutrition, water, rest, slash sleep. Those are my main focuses right now, obviously feeling better. But those are things that I can focus on. So if I'm not getting to the gym, I'm not getting my cardio done, I'm not gonna be like, well, screw it, I'm just gonna eat mac and cheese all day, not worry about it, and you know, get back to it whenever I feel better. Well, no, I can still stay consistent with nutrition, and that will actually help feel better. It's fueling your body well. And so I need good nutrition more than anything right now. And so I focus on what I can control, and even if I can't get to the gym, and I can't get my workouts or cardio in, I know it's gonna be okay, it's temporary. I need this rest, my body needs this rest. And then whenever I can get back to my workouts, I'll just pick back up like it never happened. There's no need to try and make up for lost time. Like I will just pick back up with, with my workouts where I like I like it. Nothing happened where I left off and then keep moving forward. And that's all we can do. Again, it can be frustrating because we've built up momentum. We're feeling good, but we have to remember that life happens. We can't always be perfect. We can't always be on point. And so I just wanted to share this encouragement because I know that other people struggle with it. And 
it is what it is, you know? We just have to accept it, control what we can, and move forward. So as soon as I'm feeling better, as soon as I, I think what I'm waiting for is less um, of this congestion, I'm not running a temperature, so just less of this, because this, um, it's harder to breathe because there's congestion up here and you can hear it in my voice. I can still taste and smell. Don't worry, again, negative test. But um, I just don't want to do anything with this because I know that whenever your body is fighting anything off, whether it's allergies or cold or whatever, if I put more stress on my body, even if it's doing something good like working out, it could prolong me from getting better or it could make things worse. Like I said, that your immune system can be compromised. And so if I don't have, like, if this is just allergies, I could open myself up to actually getting sick from something else. It's not a big deal. Um, just lots of rest. And I'm taking the time, you know, that I would be going to the gym to catch up on work and focus more on other things at home, like cleaning and things like that. So not exciting, but it happens, you know, and I, I told y'all that I was going to document this whole journey share the ups and the downs and I didn't know that I would have a down in the first week. It's okay, you know, still moving on. Um, if y'all have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I hope everybody's doing well. It is <clears throat> getting into like cold and flu season. So make sure that you're staying on top of nutrients and supplements and get outside in the sunshine. It's cloudy today, which sucks, but I've been trying to get outside in the sun for 10 to 15 minutes every single day to get that vitamin D, which helps your immune system. So all of the good things to help keep your body nice and healthy and well, and then taking care of yourself, you know, making sure to stay active, drinking plenty of water, eating whole foods, all of those things. If you have any questions though, let me know in the comments below. I'll put a video of last week's <clears throat> check-in and this week's check-in. I guess overall, I didn't even include this. Um, I haven't taken my measurements yet. I don't know where my tape measure is. I need to order another. I am down about four pounds since last week, which a lot of it is water weight. It's not pure fat. Typically, we aim for anywhere from like 0.25 to one pound of weight loss on the scale week to week. Anything more than that, and you risk losing muscle tissue that we worked way too hard for. So this is water weight. It's probably holding on to some water, some inflammation from training really hard. And now that I'm not training, that water weight has since been dispersed. Not a big change. I do not expect that every single week. It probably, depending on how this week goes, if I can get back to the gym, it might be, might be half a pound in the next week. So we'll see. But again, no change is necessary because this. But that's it. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you are enjoying this new little series on the channel. We'll be back on Friday with another video and I'm hoping to be, I'm hoping for that video to be an exciting one because I mentioned a partnership coming up. And if we get something in the mail today, that will be the partnership that I'll talk about. But it's really exciting and I think you guys are gonna love it because we're gonna love it. But anyway, that's it for today's update, short and sweet. Hope you're having a good day. Have fun out there, and we'll see you on Friday. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.